Taking a live look from our nation's capital where there's a push to ban TikTok. A bill could allow the Department of Commerce to ban one of the country's most popular apps. Colorado Senator Michael Bennett supports a TikTok ban. And in Aurora, the city ordered a removal of TikTok from all government devices. However, not everyone is on board with this change. Jasmine Arenas talked with a business in Littleton that relies on TikTok. And they say, Jasmine, that it has been a big help. Hi, Michael. Small businesses like Homey Cafe here in Littleton rely on TikTok to bring in revenue and traffic to their business. But they tell me if it wasn't for TikTok, they'd have to spend thousands of dollars on marketing, and it's money they don't have. Known for their delectable iced lattes and burritos, Gombi Cafe in Littleton is a small business that benefits from the social media app TikTok. With over 50,000 followers and more than a million likes, it's gotten the attention of many. We share a lot of different videos, including recipes that I use here at the cafe. For business owner Alejandro Flores Munoz, the social media app allowed him to grow his catering business while bringing in revenue both through the app and new customers. It has put me in a level where I don't have to be spending ad dollars to be able to get in front of people anymore because every video that I post up uh, engages with an audience that not only wants to be entertained through my TikToks, but also wants to support. It's been a game changer for his business after the pandemic caused his cafe to suffer. He lost over 80% of our business because of the uh, global pandemic. Uh, and it wasn't until I was discovered by the developers of this beautiful building where we're located, uh, who saw me on TikTok. Eventually, um, those conversations from TikTok led to this cafe that I am in right now. According to TikTok, they have over 150 million people on the app in the U.S., with more than 5 million businesses promoting their brand. Munoz hopes lawmakers pushing for a ban on the app take this into consideration. They should consider the small business owner like me into consideration before making any abrupt ending. Well, Senator Bennett and others behind the app efforts say that the Chinese-owned social media app could be a potential threat to national security. In Littleton, Jasmine Arenas covering Colorado First.